Royal Kabir Punch Out Boxing here with Chef Clark, one of the favourites of Lambeth Council. I don't care what Stella says that you're from Kent, you're based in Stockwell, we've adopted you. Although the chief executive of council has, uh, has been arrested for drink driving, so maybe you want to distance yourself from uh, Lambeth after all. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is? He shouldn't drink and drive. He's just smoke and fly. And I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Apparently, he was doing that as well. <laughs> oh, really? Don't take my advice. Um, that, that was not advice. That was not any form of legal anything. Um, I'm blessed, man. How are you? Yeah, fantastic. Um, so you're here at the uh, the presser for the uh, Joshua v Dubois fight. But we want to know what, what next for Chef Clark. You had that great win against Zorro. Um, got that coveted Lonsdale belt. Do you want to move on quickly? Do you want to defend it? There's no shortage of young hotshots at Cruiserweight uh, who are, you know, young, hard-hitting, aggressive. Um, what do you want to do? I'm going to defend it. I said that after my fight. Um, defend it, win it outright. Um, I can't tell you the last Cruiserweight to have done it, but I know Dalton Smith, Dalton Smith has done it. Um, so it's, achie it's, achie uh, it's achievable. Yeah, of course, that it is that coveted belt the most historic belt in boxing so well worth uh, keeping forever on your mantelpiece um have you been keeping an eye on the cruiser scene though i mean it is thriving like i said just a couple of weeks ago at selhurst park just down the road from lambeth incidentally uh i don't know if you was there would you make the two big cruiser white fights uh, on that card yeah i watched it um good fights uh, entertaining fights for the crowd um and yeah the people who won um are on to uh, better things now so, um, as you said, it's a thriving division and I'm a part of it. You know, you've had words with, um, with Isaac in the past. The fight I called the Lambeth Council Derby, Brixton against Stockwell. Um, now that he's lost his European belt, uh, you're the obvious guy for him to settle old scores with. Not, not really, because I've gone past him now, innit? Do you know what I mean? I'm, well, listen, I'm up for any um, challenge as long as numbers are right and everything else is right in the, in the process but um like but yeah as i said there was no personal vendetta with me and isaac it's just he had a belt i wanted it he no longer has the belt so there's no interest for me to fight him yeah i think that was just me trying to <laughs> hype up lambeth um yeah have, have your promoters have they said anything about uh what, what sort of date I mean, where, how frequently would you like to fight? I'd like to fight. I'd love to be on this. That would be amazing. But, you know, that's how that goes. Um, I'd like to fight ASAP, summer, August. Uh, what's that? One on the 20th, 24th of September. That would be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, man. I'm just, I'm here ready. The boy's always ready. You guys know that. Uh, like I said, last time out, great win. Um, <laughs> that's why they call him pretty boy. Um, yeah, last time I showed showed your usual polished sort of that that rhythm that uh, Richard talks about. You come out almost bouncing to the to the rhythm of the, the your, your ring tune music. It's, um, it's the culture, man. You know what I mean? It's the vibrations. The vibrations. I'm Jamaican. Uh, I use the the, the Jamaican uh, heritage to my advantage, and uh, you see what happens. You know. Yeah, brought that rhythm into the ring. How far off? Uh, your peak do you think you are uh, as a cruiserweight my peak i can't tell you my peak because i haven't been there yet but i can tell you so it, it i haven't got a ceiling that that much i can tell you that much so you guys haven't really seen much of what i can do in terms of what i can do like the things i do in training the things you do i uh, sorry the things you've seen me done in the ring i do that i do that all the time inspiring do you know what i mean you just I haven't managed to see all of what I do in sparring. Those things I do in, in, in the gym all the time, do you know what I mean? So there's, there's plenty more to come. So, so I've been telling my colleagues a bold prediction of that, yeah, because uh, I first saw you up close on the Optire Thompson card. Yeah. I said, hey, Sheb's the one guy that could cause Optire problems because he's a similar size and his feet, they bounce to that rhythm at quicker than any other cruiserweight I've seen other than Optire and Usyk himself. I mean, I haven't been watching him myself. I mean, he's at a different stage of his career, but I'm advancing and um, you never know. But, you know, let's let's see what happens next. And I'm sure in the future, oh, I'm not sure, but in the future, you never know what might happen. Do you think by the end of the year, would you like to be sort of 
getting towards that world level. Listen, I've only had 10 fights, you know. I mean, all these other guys, they're, they're pushing on. It's all about getting the experience. And listen, I've got to win this belt outright. So once I've won that outright, you know, there's the European, the Commonwealth, all of that to go towards. And we'll get to the world belt. No problem. Do you think uh, there's any particular aspects of the, the, your game that you want tested next time out? Like maybe someone who can maybe, say, fight high volume, definitely take you the 12 rounds, anything like that? I mean, I think I've fought people that can do both of those things. Um, I've just managed to outwit them at what they do. But, hey, as I said, I don't I don't cow off from nobody. Um, I prepare shrewdly and um, I'm ready to fight. All right. OK, well, uh, let's hope uh, Eddie and Matchroom get you out ASAP. Like you said, 24th of August in Manchester. Um, that's a big card. Would love to see you out. I'm a big fighter, big puncher. Makes sense I'm on the card, don't it? <laughs> big shows for a big man. Absolutely. Chef, uh, thank you for your time. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you out ASAP. Big up yourself. <laughs>